Hey guys, this is Mike from Alive and Well, and you're watching OCML's Artist Spotlight. I know every year it's the same thing. Young coming crash at the beginning. I've gotten better at honing in. Symptomatic lack of serotonin. It's temporary. My mental cemetery now. Just for me, another drink. Cause I'm a rock when it's the spring. Which is coming in my body knows. Probably what inspired me was to get into music. I want to say my dad playing piano. Uh, I was raised on like him playing Billy Joel and Springsteen songs. And when I was a kid, I hated it because he just wouldn't stop. I'm like, shut up, dude, I don't want to do this. But then, like, when you sit and watch and you watch, like, you see somebody get into it, you can, you, then you watch them go to a different world. I'm like, ah, that was pretty cool. And then I, you know, as I got older, I started picking up the guitar a little bit, got into like Blank, Sun 41, all that kind of stuff, and seeing those people jump around and, just how much fun the crowd was having. It was just really awesome. And then I started playing along to those songs in my room. And then, you know, transported to wherever dad was going when he was playing Springsteen. I picked up the guitar when I was maybe 12. Started taking lessons. Um, it was cool, because the guy I took lessons from was like way in the, you know, 70s kind of stuff. So like Pink Floyd, I learned like Cream. And then, you know, all like the bait, like smoke on the water and all that kind of stuff. And then I started learning what I want, like I on my own started learning what I wanted to know, which was just three chord, you know, power chord, pop, like pop punk stuff. But um, I learned how to learn, like play by ear, which was awesome because I can do it really well now, but I also kind of gave up on learning like theory or anything. So playing with Matt, he's a musician, like professionally. He went to school for music. So it's really funny when we try to come together, we'll like speak the science of sound. And I'm like more of a, do like me. And he's like, oh, you mean like the fourth and the fifth and the, like whatever. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever you want to call it. Just make that noodle sound. So it's fun, you know, it's fun when two goofy brains come together like that. Current members of the band are myself, uh, Matt Vernon playing guitar and singing, Pat Hughes is lead guitar, and Eric Brosgold is drums. Call him Braz, he loves it. But my man Braz. People always think we're saying bras, like women undergarments. <laughs> so that's funny. The name Alive and Well Matt had um, when this all started, but it kind of has like a different, there's different kind of meanings to it. Um, the one whole say is, uh, he got it, I believe his like main pick is he got it from one of the Back to the Future movies. And it's when Marty McFly goes to the Wild West and he's in jail and no one knows he's in jail so he's writing a, a note to himself, playing it off like everything's fine. He's like, yep, I'm, I'm alive and well. And that's kind of how, you know, we're all transplants here. So when things are really bad, you're not going to tell mom and dad that. So they're like, how is everything? And you're like, I'm alive and well, doing great, everything's fine. So it's kind of like a funny little joke about, you know, even when life throwing you the craziest stuff, you know, eat the punch and roll with it, and uh, spit out a song later. I have a well music making process. Uh, this, the last EP we put out, um, From Basements to Beaches, Matt had written over the past couple years. Um, most of it was like done acoustically, and then once we got the full band going, we like transposed that into what we have now. But now what we're doing is kind of meshing different ideas. Um, I have a, di a specific style that I play, and we're learning how to put that into what Matt does, into what Pat does, and then Braz just brings it all together. Uh, so I guess he is the bra, he holds it all up. <laughs> one, one that's coming to mind is uh, we did one of the emo nights up in LA, and Matt hit me with his guitar, not knowing, because I was on the other side of him, usually I'm on his left, and I was on his right, so all my stupid stage antics and his flailing didn't mesh and I just bonk right in the head. And none of us stopped. We were both kinda like, oh. and he like I saw the mouth like, are you okay? I was like, just keep going. <laughs> Nothing happened. And I don't think anybody noticed, or they just let it ride, but that was a pretty funny one. But one piece of advice I can give to somebody trying to become a musician, don't stop. Um, it's gonna be hard. 
people are gonna not care. You know, you're gonna show somebody this thing, your baby that you worked on, your blood, your sweat, your tears, everything, for years, and they go, okay, I don't care. Uh, you gotta make them care. I'm not saying jam it down their throats, but prove to them and yourself that you have it, what people need to want to back you up. And if they don't like it, then okay, thanks for almost checking it out. Move on and on, you know? You do it for yourself. As soon as you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Fans can get a hold of myself or anybody in Alive and Well through any form of social media. Uh, Facebook.com slash Alive and Well CA. Alive and Well CA on Twitter and Instagram. Um, emails are listed on both. If you want to get a hold of me, I run all the social media. So if you're talking to the band, you're talking to me. <laughs> Once again, this is Mike from Alive and Well, and thank you for watching. I'm not sure how, but I can't.